Hi, welcome to Prime Recap. A pirate steals the Krabby Patty secret formula, causing chaos in Bikini Bottom. To retrieve the formula and bring back peace between the inhabitants, SpongeBob and his squad must embark on an adventure out of the water. Today we will recap the 2015 SpongeBob movie, Sponge Out of Water. On a remote island in the middle of the ocean, Burger Beard, a lonely pirate, crosses a dangerous forest in search of a treasure, which is nothing more than a magical book. To get there, the man needs to go through some traps. After getting rid of the sharp swords that stick out of the ground, he finally manages to get that book and knocks over the macabre skeleton to whom the treasure belonged. As Burger Beard celebrates his victory, the skeleton stands up and they begin to fight. At this point, the pirate is punched so hard that he is sent back to his ship. Lucky for him, the book is still in his hands and the man manages to successfully complete his mission. Now, he can go back to sailing to his next destination. The pirate switches on autopilot and goes to check out the contents of the book. The story begins with the introduction of a small town at the bottom of the sea, called Bikini Bottom. There, there was a restaurant, Krusty Krab, where all the residents went to enjoy the Krabby Patty. The fry cook responsible for preparing this masterpiece was called SpongeBob SquarePants. Upon hearing this name, the seagulls approach the boat and begin to sing. However, Burger Beard hates that song and orders the birds to be quiet so he can continue reading. He says that SpongeBob loved his job at the restaurant. Also, he loved Gary, his pet snail, and Patrick, his best friend. His favorite hobbies were blowing bubbles and hunting jellyfish. However, SpongeBob spent most of his time making Krabby Patties and the inhabitants of Bikini Bottom never got tired of eating them. No one knew what it was in those burgers that made them so irresistible, and honestly, no one cared, except Plankton. The little guy had a restaurant next to the Krusty Krab, but the place was always empty because the food was terrible. Plankton's life mission was to steal Krabby Patties' secret formula, however SpongeBob was always there to protect it. One day, everything changed. Plankton appears in his airship and begins bombing the Krusty Krab. His first attack consists of throwing tartar sauce on SpongeBob and Mr. Krabs, but they are not willing to surrender so easily and SpongeBob invites his friend, Patrick, to help him in the counterattack. Together they engage in battle and bomb Plankton with potato missiles. In this way, the enemy is taken down, but the food war continues. Plankton uses his main battle tank to attack the duo with a giant pickle. Apparently, they had been defeated, but, seeing the enemy approaching, SpongeBob tries to stop him with his ketchup and mustard machine gun. Patrick throws a giant jar of mayonnaise into the tank and the vehicle explodes. However, Plankton still has one more ace up his sleeve. The villain uses a giant robot to invade Krusty Krab and demands that Mr. Krabs give him the secret formula. When it was about to complete its mission, the giant robot runs out of fuel and stops working. So, the little guy decides to touch Mr. Krabs' weak point and offers him money in exchange for the secret formula. However, Plankton realizes that he is broke, having spent all his money buying the plane, the battle tank, and the giant robot to attack the Krusty Krab. All that's left is a measly coin, which he hands over to Mr. Krabs. The restaurant owner keeps the money in his safe and kicks Plankton out of his restaurant. Twenty minutes later, Mr. Krabs sees him crying outside and walks over to make fun of him. Meanwhile, the real Plankton comes out of hiding and appears inside the vault. The next challenge for this cheater is to be able to steal the formula without triggering the weight sensor alarm. He finds another bottle in the room and uses it to replace the one containing the formula. In that instant, the crab discovers that the plankton that was crying outside the crusty crab was, in fact, a robot and SpongeBob catches the real plankton in the act, just as he was trying to steal the formula. The sensor is activated and at that moment an alarm sounds, the doors close and Mr. Krabs is trapped outside the place. In an attempt to retrieve the formula, SpongeBob tries to snatch the bottle from Plankton's hands, but suddenly the object disappears. When Mr. Krabs finally makes it to his room, he finds the two of them, but the formula is gone. The crab accuses Plankton of stealing it, but SpongeBob claims the little guy is innocent. In an attempt to get him to reveal the whereabouts of the formula, Mr. Krabs cracks a joke and wears earplugs while SpongeBob lets out his annoying laugh. Plankton begs him to stop, but is eventually saved by Squidward, who enters the room and informs him that customers are asking for a refund. Upon hearing this, Mr. Krabs asks SpongeBob to go back to make Krabby Patties, however the formula was gone and he doesn't know the recipe. Despite having spent the last few years making Krabby Patties every day, SpongeBob didn't know how to prepare them himself, as the employee manual prevented him from memorizing the formula. So Mr. Krabs asks his customers to help him find Plankton and force him to return the formula. SpongeBob tries to explain that the bottle just disappeared, but nothing is able to stop the crab's wrath. While venting to Karen, his robot wife, Plankton has his house broken into and is captured. 
Mr. Krabs and his customers are determined to retrieve the formula, but Plankton claims he doesn't know where the bottle ended up, so the crab decides to dispose of him. At that time, SpongeBob appears and says he will handle the little guy. He then forms a bubble around Plankton and, after asking Mr. Krabs for forgiveness, runs off with the villain. At that time, the owner of the Krusty Krab is convinced that his most loyal employee had betrayed him. The residents try to burst the bubble to stop them from escaping, but the duo manages to escape. Without the Krabby Patties, in just a few hours, the apocalypse begins at Bikini Bottom. Burger Beard claims that this is the end of the story, but the seagulls do not accept this end. One of the birds tries to steal the book, but only manages to tear off a page, which ends up falling into the sea. At the bottom of the ocean, the city was at war. Sandy is the only one safe in her house. While watching the news, she eats the last Krabby Patty left in all of Bikini Bottom. Patrick appears and, outside, watches her devour that delicious burger. Seconds later, the squirrel finds out, through the TV, that the Krusty Krab has gone bankrupt. When he arrives at his house, SpongeBob bursts the bubble where he and Plankton were and soon finds Patrick. The starfish is completely freaked out and SpongeBob invites him to help find the secret formula. Patrick accepts the invitation to be part of the team, but, at the first opportunity, grabs his friend and announces to the other residents that he managed to capture him. However, SpongeBob manages to escape and runs to Sandy's house as she is the only one who can help him now. Upon arriving there, he discovers that the squirrel has gone mad. Sandy shows the last page of the book that had fallen into the sea and claims that the sandwich gods are angry with the inhabitants of Bikini Bottom. At this point, SpongeBob is convinced that he can't count on the squirrel and decides to go to his pineapple in hopes of finding Gary. When he gets home, he finds that the place has been invaded and everything has been destroyed. Worried about his pet snail, SpongeBob keeps looking for him, until he finds a trail of goo. The sponge notices that Gary is nearby and runs towards him, but now he has become the king of snails and was no longer by SpongeBob's side. Gary orders his snails to get plankton in the square pants, but the snails are extremely slow, so the pair manage to escape. They decide to spend the night away from the city to ensure their safety. While SpongeBob sleeps, Plankton decides to get into his brain to find out where he hid the formula. However, he is surprised to find an extremely sweet place. Everything is very happy and colorful in that world, which makes Plankton want to get out of there at all costs. Suddenly, the cotton candy clumps together and forms a kitten. The villain puts everything out when he comes across so much cuteness and ends up releasing a rainbow through his mouth. When he finally manages to get out of that place, SpongeBob wakes up and reveals that he had a very crazy dream about him. However, upon realizing that the little guy is full of cotton candy, he discovers that Plankton has invaded his brain. He is disappointed that he does not have his partner's trust and states that they need to trust each other as they are now a team. However, Plankton still prefers to work alone and SpongeBob tries to convince him that working in a team is much better. At that moment, Plankton comes up with the idea of building a time machine to go back to the moment before the formula disappeared. For that, he would need the help of his wife, Karen, a computer. The problem is, she was chained up in the chum bucket and dozens of guards were around to stop Karen from escaping. The duo use a tire to distract them and thus buy time to invade the place. SpongeBob helps Plankton through the window and then he opens a small door so his new partner can come in too. However, there was another guard inside. Patrick was sleeping in the doorway of the room where the computer was being kept and SpongeBob tries to get the key out of his neck. Seeing his partner's lack of subtlety, Plankton decides to do the job, but ends up slipping down Patrick's belly and into his belly button. SpongeBob manages to get him out of there but the starfish wakes up and they have to tell him a story to get him back to sleep, before the other guards are warned. The duo enter the room and free Karen. They take the computer to Taco House, a restaurant on top of a mountain, and there they use a photo booth to build the time machine. On their first trip, they are sent four days into the future and discover that Bikini Bottom has ceased to exist. So the duo returns to the machine and, a few minutes later, is sent into space, where they encounter a dolphin named Bubbles. The animal claims that his species has been protecting the galaxy for 10,000 years and asks SpongeBob and Plankton to keep an eye on everything while he goes to the bathroom. Suddenly, Saturn and Jupiter begin to move and Plankton suggests that they go to call the dolphin. However, SpongeBob doesn't want to bother him, after all, the animal must have been without going to the bathroom for a long time. A few seconds later, the two planets collide and Bubbles appears just as SpongeBob is trying to hide the mess. Seeing that disaster, the dolphin is enraged and promises to eliminate those two. The animal uses its laser beam in an attempt to disintegrate them, but together they manage to reach the machine in time and escape from that place. His next stop is at Krusty Krab, during the fateful day. Just as SpongeBob catches Plankton trying to steal the formula, 
The duo from the future appears and Plankton tries to hide in the vault. SpongeBob sticks his hands inside and manages to get the bottle. Then they enter the time machine and return to the present moment. Burger Beard finally makes it to the beach. His boat spins wheels and climbs on the sand, running over beachgoers. The pirate parks across the street, along with other trailers, and chases the seagulls off their boat, which soon transforms into a food truck. However, the birds refuse to leave without knowing the end of the story and Burger Beard offers them a snack while they wait. What those seagulls didn't expect is that the man would serve them a pair of spicy wings and they soon wonder where their friend Kyle is. Frightened, the birds leave and Kyle comes out of the bathroom. The pirate then uses his megaphone to scare him away and the scare is so great that the animal loses all its feathers. Unable to fly, Kyle takes a mini-taxi and leaves. At Krusty Krab, Sandy appears and shares with the villagers her theory about them pissing off the burger gods. She claims that only a sacrifice can calm them down. At that time, SpongeBob appears with the Krabby Patty formula and the crowd goes wild. He explains to Mr. Krabs how he managed to find her. Meanwhile, Patrick enters the photo booth and takes a trip back in time. Upon opening the bottle, the crab discovers that it is not the secret formula, but a mocking note from Plankton. The little guy says that SpongeBob took the wrong bottle and Mr. Krabs says they will be sacrificed. Suddenly, Patrick returns with the time machine, and along with him is a Squidosaurus Rex. The animal starts chasing the villagers and everyone flees in despair. Plankton blames the whole disaster on SpongeBob because he had stolen the wrong bottle. But SquarePants claims he didn't know there were two bottles and they start to argue. Plankton says that SpongeBob is the worst partner he could ever have and the sponge starts to freak out. He knocks over the trash can and throws everything he sees on the ground. Then it mixes recyclable garbage with organic, which it would never do if it were in its normal state. When he realizes what he has just done, SpongeBob tries to calm down and confesses that he has been infected by madness. To fix things and get everything back to the way it was before, he offers himself to be used as a sacrifice. The inhabitants of Bikini Bottom are quick to take the idea. SpongeBob is chained and about to be crushed by a giant rock. As he is about to be executed, he begins to smell a distant Krabby Patty and Mr. Krabs orders the executioner to cut the rope. However, before Square Pants is crushed, Mr. Krabs holds the big rock and states that he is also smelling Krabby Patty. He decides to use SpongeBob as a sniffer dog to go after those burgers. At that time, everyone rips off their apocalyptic clothes and starts following him. After facing a long journey, they discover that the smell is coming from the surface and are disappointed that they cannot breathe out of water. Faced with this new challenge, everyone decides to return to Bikini Bottom, except for the protagonists, of course. As they try to find a way to survive on the surface, the mysterious dolphin appears and thanks SpongeBob for making him lose his job. Bubbles says that, a few years ago, he already realized that he needed a change, but he didn't have the courage to do it. As a way of repaying him, the animal claims that it will bring SpongeBob and his friends safely to the surface. Bubbles catches them in his mouth and throws them on the beach. Now they need to cross that sea of sand without being attacked by bathers. Patrick tries to ask a giant foot for directions, but soon SpongeBob realizes that it's actually a furry porpoise that ran aground out of the water. They try to help it return to the ocean, but the animal is extremely heavy and they are trapped under it. A few minutes later, they manage to escape by digging in the sand and end up in a girl's castle. Her brother is annoyed upon detecting the invaders and kicks them away. Patrick got very lucky and ended up falling into another kid's ice cream. Squidward ends up on a woman's back and can't get out of there, as he keeps slipping because of the sunscreen. Seeing the starfish devouring his ice cream, the boy throws the food away and Squidward is eventually saved. Sandy and SpongeBob end up on a beach umbrella. The man sees the object moving and tries to close it. He then opens it again and the pair are launched onto a deck, where Mr. Krabs was. Now that they're back together, SpongeBob and Patrick are full of energy after devouring a giant cotton candy. When the sugar wears off, they continue to follow the Krabby Patty's unique aroma. However, they are at imminent risk of being run over by pedestrians, so they decide to use a bicycle for transport. While SpongeBob and Patrick pedal, Sandy and the others drive the two-wheeler. In this way, they quickly manage to get to Burger Beard's food truck, which he called home of the Krabby Patty. While the pirate was preparing the burgers, he was surprised by Mr. Krabs and his friends. The crab orders the man to return the formula and he claims that the arrival of the Bikini Bottom protagonists is not in the book. Finally, Burger Beard reveals that, to steal the secret formula, he just needed to to rewrite the story and uses this same resource to send the heroes to Pelican Island. When they arrive there, they are surrounded by dozens of birds that keeps trying to devour them. Sandy then shows the paper she found in the sea and SpongeBob has an idea to get them out of that place. 
he plucks a feather from one of those pelicans and uses the ink released by Squidward to rewrite the end of the story. The team disappears and Plankton, who has been hiding in Spongebob's sock all this time, is given the opportunity to modify the story however he wants. Meanwhile, at Krabby Patty's home, Burger Beard is earning more and more money, but his happiness comes to an end when Spongebob and his friends return. Now they are much bigger and with superpowers. Squidward uses his clarinet to drive people away and Patrick uses his mind power to attract the ice creams around him, but instead of using them as a weapon, he starts eating them. The pirate takes advantage of the distraction to try to rewrite the story, but is stopped by Mr. Krabs and his mechanical arm. SpongeBob uses his bubbles to steal the book, and as they celebrate their victory, the man manages to escape. Just then, Sandy appears and her friends can barely recognize her, as she has become a giant squirrel. Upon realizing that Burger Beard has escaped, the team goes after him and Patrick manages to catch up. To get rid of the giant starfish, the pirate releases his anchor and the heroes are shot down. However, they soon get up and continue the chase. SpongeBob uses the anchor to try to stop Burger Beard from getting the book, and Squidward gives a little help. The bubble bursts and the book falls onto the grill the man used to make the burgers. Seeing the book on fire, Burger Beard is enraged. Sandy attacks him with a peanut machine gun, but he uses his spatula to get rid of the attack. So Patrick springs into action and, once again, uses his powers to attract a slew of ice cream. However, now that he managed to deliver a powerful blow, he ended up becoming a victim of his own attack. When victory seemed to be assured, Mr. Krabs appears and uses his mechanical arms to take down the pirate, but is attacked back and thrown away. Now, SpongeBob is the only one who can stop that man, but he is bombarded by countless cannons. At that moment, he comes up with the idea of using his superpower to form bubbles around the bullets and thus avoid being hit. His plan works for a while, but he is distracted by seeing Patrick getting hurt and ends up getting bombed. After defeating all the heroes, Burger Beard retrieves the formula and tries to escape. What he didn't expect was that Plankton would show up at that place. His body is completely transformed and the little guy has now become a mountain of muscle. He lifts the boat and the pirate hides. After performing several stunts with the boat, in an attempt to make Burger Beard bewildered, Plankton sticks his little head inside and ends up being injured, as the man throws pepper sauce in his eye. Due to the pain, he throws the boat away and the pirate tries to flee once more, however, Plankton gets up and uses teamwork to his advantage. With SpongeBob's help, he releases a flurry of bubbles to attack Burger Beard and manages to capture him. After retrieving the formula, Plankton kicks the pirate back to the island where he had stolen the book and gives the bottle to Mr. Krabs. After completing the quest, SpongeBob can finally write the happy ending and everyone returns to Bikini Bottom. City dwellers soon flock to Krabby Patty and can now gorge on Krabby Patties again. Everything goes back to the way it was before, even Plankton returns to fulfill his role and continues to try to steal the secret formula. So what did you think of this movie? Leave it in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please like and subscribe for more movie recaps. See you next time.